I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, just when he thought he was out, they bring him back in. Mark Wahlberg is a retired smuggler who's got to go back to work in contraband. Every retired assassin, jewel thief, con artist, and smuggler in movie history knows the drill. Once you're out of the life, you're not really out of the life until you pull off that one last job. You were the best of the best, but the proudest day of my life was when you turned legit. You started a family, and you got out of the life. That's the all-too-familiar setup in contraband, but we don't mind because from start to finish, this is a superbly crafted, beautifully executed caper with never a dull moment. Wahlberg's smart enough to not even try an accent playing Chris Faraday. He's a retired runner living the straight life in New Orleans with his beautiful wife, played by Kate Beckinsale, and their two boys. But when Kate's little brother bungles a smuggling job, it's up to Chris to fix it or everyone's gonna die at the hands of Giovanni Ribisi's hyperkinetic drug dealer. They're gonna kill me. They're not gonna kill you. Ribisi is great fun here as the tightly wound nutball, and later we get Diego Luna providing equally loony entertainment as another tightly wound nutball. Yet another compelling character actor, the very talented Ben Foster, plays Chris's best friend Sebastian, who's doing a kind of bad job of looking after Chris's family while Chris goes on that one last job. Say goodbye to your wife. Based on a 2008 film from Iceland, Contraband is at its best during the extended scenes on the ship and in Panama, where Chris and crew get involved with a job within a job that goes horribly wrong. The cat and mouse scenes on the freighter involving J.K. Simmons as the captain who's always one step behind Faraday's crew are smartly choreographed and filled with tension. Contraband contains about a half dozen surprises. You'll see most of them coming a scene away, but that's all right because there's almost always a twist on top of the twist or a clever punchline. You think we're stupid? Wahlberg is at his best, either kissing his wife or pounding a bad guy while leaving the more colorful line readings to the excellent supporting cast. Tell him not to dump it in the water. You will never find that money. This is a first-rate action film with a great cast, a talented director, and a strong script. I give it an A-. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels. <laughs>